Hi, Y3. So we're back with some more maths work today. So we are going to understand division as grouping equally. So we're just having a bit of a recap uh, with our division and using more things like Numicon to help us today. So uh, division is grouping equally. So remember, we need to have equal amounts in each group. If there's anything left over, it is a blank. So anything left over that if it doesn't go into the group, it won't be equal. So it has to be a, well done if you said a remainder. So it is a remainder. The answer is a number of groups made and the remainder if there's any left over. So here we are. So we're recapping with our work that we did on yesterday. So we have 12 dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're dividing equally by three. So again, you can do your dots or your uh, tallies if, if you want to. You can have a quick pause if you want to and have a go at this paper at home. If you wanna watch me carry on with this, you can do. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And remember, we look at one of these groups. Remember the value of one of these groups. So twelve divided by three equals one, two, three, four. And remember, we can do the inverse of this. Remember the inverse of division is, well done if you said times, and we can do the inverse of this, so four times by three, so four, eight, 12, which is our number, that was at the beginning, which was our whole, so well done if you managed to get that right. Okay, so, oh, I've got to say number there. So this is just another way of showing it. So here I have my numicon. So we have one 10 and then two ones here. So this all together equals 12. And I've got my numicon of three here. So remember we've got one, two, three. And I'm just gonna see how many of these threes fit into 12. So we've got one, two, three, Four, and again, four, okay? So I know that four of these threes, one, two, three, four. So 12 divided by three will equal four equal amounts of groups, okay? So here, let's just get rid of this one, I don't want that one. We have 17, divided by uh, three. So we've got, our, we've got our 10 here and our seven here, and we're dividing equally by three. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, okay? I can't do another one because I haven't got a numicon here. I'm going to see how many I've got. Again. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I know I can have five equal groups of three. However, I have got, oops, if I have put these back in again, like so, I have two left over or two remainder. So we've got remainder two. So I've got five remainder two. So here we are. A group of children share 21 sweets. In, in, the, in the end, they share, uh, they have three each. How many do they share between? So again, you can use your bar model for this. Or if you're feeling very confident, oh dear, that's not a very good bar model. Let's just try that again. You can use your bar model. So 
So remember, we have the whole, which is what? What's our whole here? We've got 21 and we're sharing it by three. So we can't, let's try and make it as equal as possible. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, that doesn't help either. So there we go. Oh, it's not quite even, but it'll do for now. So remember, I'm dividing it by three, okay? So remember, if you know your three times tables really well, you can do it this way, or if you want to do your dots, you can do so, or your tally, so you can do, I'm going to change this actually the colour. I've got one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, okay? And we see how many, what one of these is worth. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know 21 divided by three equals seven. And if you knew your time tables really well and did your three times table, so three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, you know that there are, that three goes into 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these boxes is worth seven. So well done if you manage to do either way, okay? Remember, if you know your times tables, this would be really easy. So here we are. So a baker has 20, uh, 26 layers. He sells them in bags of four. So how many bags can he make? So here we are. Doing this as quick as I can. Hopefully you'll be able to do it much neater than me. So I know my hole is 26 and I have four equal groups. So one, two, as equal as possible at least. So I know it's not, I know there aren't equal amounts of boxes there, but try and make it as equal as you can. So again, you can do your dots or if you're feeling very confident, your times tables. So you can do our dots or your tallies. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, 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 let's do that again. So we've got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, 24, 25, 26. I can't do it in those extra ones, okay? Because I'm not going to have the equal amount. So I'm going to make sure I will put 25, 26. So here I've got 26 divided by four equals, so how many do I have the equal amount for? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I had this remainder of one and two. Okay, so I have six, remainder two. There we go. So 26 divided by four equals six, uh, remainder two. And remember, if you know your times tables really well, if you do your four times table, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, you know you have, you know you can go into six times, but because you've got 24 and you have 26 here, you've got five, six, so you've got six remainder two. So, Remember, this is why you need to learn your times tables because your times tables will also help with your division, okay? So make sure you're practicing at home and not only the times, but the inverse, the multiplication, uh, the division, sorry. So again, if you need to, 
Die Barmatte. Okay, this is a little bit better, isn't it? It's looking a little bit neater. There we go. Okay, so remember, our hole is 31. So a baker bakes 31 loaves and he sells them in bags of five. How many bags can he make? So, and we know that we are having to share them equally by five. So hope I can make a group of five equally as possible. One, two, oh dear, that's not very neat. Three. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and remember you can do your dots, or you can do your tallies, or if you're feeling super confident with your times tables, you can do, okay? Remember, be re if you're really good at it, you don't need to do the tallies, okay? So I'm just doing this for most people who might need it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I can't put in my 31 because I won't have, I put this on here, in a different colour, I'm not going to have an equal amount in each box, okay? So I'm just going to put this remainder up here for now, okay? Because we know it's left over. Not a very good remainder though. So I've got 31, oh dear, I'm very neat again, divided by five. Let's see how many equal amounts are there. So in one box, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six equal groups but then we have the remainder of this one so we've got six remainder one so well done if you've got that at home as well okay so here we have this um the sheet here so explain 30 divided by six joy's method she's got her 30 up here She's got one, two, so split 30 into six equal boxes, five per box. And we've got Fred's method. And we've got again 30. How many sixes in 30? There are five. Okay. So I agree with Joy. I agree with Fred. I agree with both. So I want you to have a think. Look at these bar models. Are they correct? Which one's correct? Which one's wrong? Are they both correct? Are they both wrong? Have a think, have a pause. What do you, who do you think is right? Do you think Joy's right, Fred's right, or both of them are right? Okay, so actually, both Joy and Fred are right because all they have done is done the inverse. What Joy has done, oops, Joy has basically just done 30. So we know our 30 is our whole. And she's got one, two, three, four, five, six. She's got six equal boxes, okay? And she knows her, in her six times tables, so she did six, uh, six, 12, 18, 24, 30. She knows that each box of those equals a five, okay? Whereas Fred, he's done 30 and he's divided it by one, two, three, four, five. So he's seen how many fives go into 30. So let's do our five times tables. Five, uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So he knows that one of those boxes is worth a six and you have, and you have uh, five lots of sixes, it's going to equal 30. So actually they're both right, but they've just done it in a slightly different way, okay? So both joy, and Fred are right. It's just that they have used different methods to work out how to get how to divide 30. Okay, so let's have a look. So, ooh, okay, we have got your sheets for today. So 
If you're still not quite confident with grouping, you can use the numicons to help you, okay? Make sure you read these, uh, these sentences very carefully, okay? And see how many groups you have, okay? So you can either print this out if you've got a printer at home, or you can have a quick pause and do it on your sheet at home. I don't mind how you do it, but as long as you do it, okay? So if you still want a bit more practice on it, You've got the semicircle sheet, so it says circle the numicon into groups of two and how many groups you have, okay? So it's up to you if you want to draw the numicon and then um, group it into twos, I don't mind. Or if you're feeling super confident and you know, you can look how many twos go into this number, which is eight. So if you know eight divided by two, you know what the number will be there. Okay, so again, you can have a quick pause, have a go at it. Again, you can use either your timetable knowledge or if you would like to use a bar model, use a bar model, use it to help you, okay? Because this is, again, just reaffirming our bar model knowledge, okay? So again, have a pause, have a go at it. And then we have some word problems here. So again, using your bar models if you need to. If you are confident, you don't need to use your dots or your circles if you know your times table knowledge. And again, if you need to, on your sheet at home, you can write your times tables on the sheet, okay, to help you, okay? Whichever way you feel confident to do it, okay? Have a go at it. Okay, so. And then we've got our last one, which is a skill sharp. So today we are subtracting 10. So remember, if we are subtracting 10, which column are we going to be taking away from? If we're subtracting 10. Well done if you said that we're taking away from the tens column. So I'm going to start off with this one. I'm going to start off with a semicircle. So I've got 200 and, 256. There we go take away 10. Okay, so remember, if we're taking away from the tens column, which column is going to change? It's going to be the tens column, okay? So remember, this is actually worth 50 because it's in our tens column, but we're going to take away a 10 from that 50. So to make life a little bit easier, we're going to pretend that this is a five and we're going to take away one from it. So our answer should be 200 and 46. Ooh, that's not a six, is it? Let's do that again. 246. Remember, the six won't change and the hundred won't change in this number. However, if, for example, you're on triangle, you've got 203, take away 10. And remember, we are taking away from the tens column. However, in this column, we have a zero. So we have to we have to exchange, okay? We have to mentally exchange. So we know that we're going to have to take away 10 from this column. So that two turns into a one. And because we've exchanged it, we have to carry it over to the tens column. So here, I'm going to just change that colour actually. There we go. So you're now doing 10 take away, sorry, you're doing 100 take away 10. Or in your head, you can do 10 take away 9. So now we have 193. Remember, your ones column does not need to change. Okay, so what I would like you to have a go, choose which one you want to choose. You can do all of them. You can start from semicircle and do triangle. I don't mind how you do it, okay? But have a pause, have a go at it. Okay, so well done if you had a go at that. I'm just gonna show you these answers. Well done if you managed to get these correct. And remember to send any work to Y3 Willow at Australia Bindwood. I would love to see your work and make sure you put your names either on your piece of work or on the email that you send to me, okay? Brilliant work today, guys, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.